The Virginia Railway Express is an important means of transportation for thousands of commuters, but could it be a major component for a long-term transportation solution? Charlie Grimes shared his thoughts on the subject with us. The Virginia Railway Express is a commuter rail system. That means in the morning it takes our commuters out of Prince William County to jobs in other jurisdictions. In the evenings it brings people home. In between, it's pretty much asleep with all the trains sitting in the train yard, except for one train that runs back and forth in the middle of the day. It's not a transit system. It's not a vehicle like Metro, where you can rely upon getting on the train without too long of a wait. We need to have a two-way transit system for us to have easy access to jobs in the urban core and especially for us to attract workers from the urban core to jobs in Prince William County. Our economic future relies upon attracting businesses, hiring workers in Prince William. Shipping our people to other jurisdictions keeps us from building our commercial tax base. But if the trains came here throughout the day, then the workers would be able to come here throughout the day. And then if you owned a company that required biotech or information technology or other skilled workers, you'd have access to a pool of workers much greater than what you have today. So the best opportunity for Prince William County long term for its economic development is not to build more commuter rail capacity, hauling more people to work in the morning and home in the evening. It's to build a transit system to convert the Virginia Railway Express into a two-way train system running throughout the day so that people could go back and forth into the urban core and into our job centers in places like innovation. So what's required for VRE to convert from a commuter rail system into a transit system? Right now, VRE has the rights to run 38 trains a day on the CSX tracks north of Alexandria. So CSX Railroad, the freight railroad, has slots in its uh, day to move passenger trains back and forth. And that delays and interrupts their freight business. They don't make a lot of money off of VRE. It's a real headache for CSX to have all those trains on their tracks. So a great opportunity for us is to expand the capacity of the rail network. Long Bridge, which is a two-track bridge over the Potomac River, needs to become a three-track bridge. We've already got three tracks built on portions of the Fredericksburg line, especially the recent expansion into Spotsylvania County. So as we build a third track over Neabsco Creek and Quantico Creek and Powell's Creek and over the Potomac River in particular, we have the potential to expand VRE from a commuter rail system with only 38 trains per day into a transit system with a lot more trains per day. Now VRE officials need to decide what is their priority. Until recently, their priority was to increase service, to increase the number of trains per day. But recently, they decided that they wanted to build an extension to Haymarket, to build three stations somewhere between their current track out west towards Haymarket. Why do they want to build towards Haymarket? Well, it's not clear to me. They think they might get extra customers on their trains, but you know, their trains are packed. They don't have to build all that expensive infrastructure to get more customers. All they really have to do is to offer more trains.